Hey guys, so over on TikTok, I gave you guys five options of popular books that are on my TBR that I haven't gone to yet, and I got you guys to vote to see which book I'd be reading in this video, and thank you for everyone who did vote, but the winner is Renegades by Marissa Meyer, which I'm really excited to get to. So Renegades got 58 votes, which I was kind of expecting this one to win because I mentioned it on my TikTok before and so many people commented saying I have to read it. So I was kind of expecting it to win and I'm really happy it did because this is the biggest book that was out of those like five options. So I feel like this would have been the one that I put off the most. So I'm happy that it was chosen. So now I'm like forced to read it. So this video is going to be me talking about all my thoughts about Renegades. So there are going to be spoilers. So if you hadn't read the book yet, I suggest not watching this video. Though I do plan on doing more videos like this in the future, so let me know if you want the vlogs to have spoilers or to not have spoilers because I can do that too. Unfortunately, I do have some schoolwork I have to do before I can get to this, so I'm going to do that now so I can start reading this at night. And I'm planning on annotating this book because I do think I'm going to love it. And there's so many books that I love that I regret not annotating them, so I'm going to annotate this one. I'm going to take the chance. So hopefully I love it. So I'm going to go do my work and then I'm going to start reading. It's much later and I finally finished doing my schoolwork, so now I'm going to start reading Renegades. But first, I'm going to take off my makeup and get changed into my pajamas because it is nighttime. And like I said, I am going to be annotating this book, so I do have my annotation pouch. And throughout this whole video, I'll bring you guys through my whole process of annotating my books. Sorry about the really bad lighting, but it is nighttime, and so I'm just using my lamp, so that's why it's such bad lighting. But I finished the prologue. It was really good, really intense, really sad. So basically in the prologue, we just witness Nova's parents and her little sister get murdered and then her uncle comes and gets her after because like she survived because like she has like, she makes people fall asleep, like that's her power. So she makes the murderer fall asleep. Her uncle comes and gets her and we find out her uncle is Ace, which before the prologue, we got a little bit talking about Ace saying that like he was a bad guy. So like she's joining, I guess she's, I, like, I think he's the anarchist, right? Like I think that's where it's going. I'm pretty sure that's the plot of the book. So she's about to join the anarchist, I'm pretty sure. So I'm really excited. So I am kind of getting tired, but I don't want to go to bed yet because I'm only on page 16. So I feel like I shouldn't be going to bed yet. Like I'm still like barely even into the book. So I'm going to try to read up to page like 30, maybe 50 and then stop there and then start reading again tomorrow. So I'll update you guys when I get there. It's the next day, obviously, and I'm going to be filming TikTok. So I thought I would update you guys on my reading while doing my makeup. So, so if I'm looking over there, my mirror's here, that's why. So I said yesterday I was either going to read up to page 30 or 50, like around there. And I actually ended up reading up to page 79 because I was really enjoying it, even though I was really tired. So I ended up like powering through it and I'm really enjoying it so far. So, so far I got to the part where Adrian and Nova meet for the first time. So they don't know each other yet, but like they've met. And there was like a really funny moment where it's like, uh, this whole nightmare or Nova was, was talking on like a speaker or like a microphone, whatever it was with like her friends not even friends, just like the other anarchists. And she's like, Roger, like saying like, Roger that. And Adrian goes, no, it's actually Adrian. And I'm like, hey, I like that. So I highlighted that in yellow because yellow are like my funny moments when I'm, when I'm annotating. So I really like that. And so Nova was trying to assassinate the captain of the Renegades, who's one of Adrian's fathers. So I thought that was interesting because I didn't like know what they were really doing there at first. And I was like, okay, like they're at a parade. What's happening here? Like, why is everybody here? And then I was like, oh, they're assassinating like, the captain but obviously she failed um and then we find out that adrian is like the sentinel or something even though for some reason he's not telling anybody he's the sentinel because he has a, a different superhero name he's called sketch so i'm i'm curious to see how that's gonna play out during the parade we ended up meeting another anarchist whose name's the puppeteer and I thought he was really interesting. He reminded me a lot of the Joker from Batman. So maybe that's why I found him interesting. And like mostly he reminded me of the Joker just because like even when he, like he was captured and everything, he was still like smiling. So I was like, okay, this gives me Joker vibes, which it is a superhero book. So it makes sense that like she might have based off some of her characters off of like real superheroes and villains, which like I really enjoy. So I'm happy about that. So where I ended off, it's actually Adrian's point of view. So it ends up changing from Nova's point of view to Adrian's point of view, which I liked. And we're at like the Renegades headquarters and he's talking to Max, who is like in quarantine. So I'm like, oh wow, like there's no escaping quarantine. Um, but yeah, so they're talking, everybody's trying to figure out who Nightmare is. So Nightmare is obviously Nova, like the reader knows that, but like they don't know that. So everybody's trying to find out who Nightmare is. 
especially Adrian. Like, Adrian's, like, really trying to find, like, I don't know why yet. I'm sure we're going to find out. But, like, he's, like, really keen on finding out who Nightmare is. So, obviously, their path are going to, like, cross somehow. And I think what's going to happen, because, again, I don't know much about this book, so I might be completely wrong. But at the parade, they were handing out flyers for, like, to become, like, the next renegade, like, crew. And Nova got one. So I feel like she's going to pretend to be a renegade. Because I know for a fact her and, her and Adrian become friends. So I think how they're going to become friends is that she's going to join the renegades. So I'm really excited to see that. I think that's going to be super interesting if it does happen. Um, if not, I'm sure the, like, the actual plot of the book will be better than what I'm thinking. So I'm excited still. Sorry that my thoughts are just all over the place. I'm just trying to think of everything I wanted to talk about. And another thing I did want to talk about was Adrian's mom. So we find out that she is a renegade. She was a renegade, um, but um, she's dead now. So I'm curious to find out what exactly happened to her because, like, obviously they did like overthrow the anarchists. So like, I'm guessing she died in that battle. But I'm curious to find out if we're gonna find out how she actually died. I feel like that's all I wanted to talk about. So now I'm gonna finish my makeup, go film my TikToks, and then after I'm done filming my TikToks, I'm gonna go read because I did finish all my schoolwork yesterday. So I have a lot of time to read now. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll talk to you guys when I read more. So I'm now on page 104 of Renegades, which isn't much progress from when I last updated, but some of my questions have been answered. So question number one that was answered was, what happened to Adrian's mom? So we find out that she was murdered and that she fell from a building or she, well, she was obviously pushed from a building, but they don't know who killed her. But when she died, she had a note like in her pocket or something and, or was it in her waistband? Wherever it was, um, she had a note that had the quote that Nova said to Adrian but it makes no sense because Nova couldn't be the killer because she was probably like six at that time so I'm curious to see who did actually kill her and then the other question I had was why Adrian was pretending to be the sentinel and we find out that he's pretending to be the sentinel because really his name's Sketch like his superhero name is Sketch because he can sketch things and make them into actual objects and he finds out that he can put like put tattoos on himself and though he'll get those powers of the tattoo that he draws and his dads don't know that he can do that and he wants to find out who killed his mom. So, which is going against, like, if he, like, investigates the anarchist by himself, that's going against, like, the laws. So he doesn't want his dads to know. So that's basically why he's pretending to be the Sentinel. So I didn't read that much, but I am going to stop reading right now because I do have to do my May spreads for my reading journal and do, like, my April wrap-up. So I'm going to go do that. And I would listen to the audiobook of Renegades, but because I'm annotating it, I don't want to listen to the audiobook. So I'm going to put on the audiobook of the selection because I've been rereading some of my favorite books. So I'm going to put that on and then do all my spreads and then get back to reading. So it's much later. Like I said, I was doing my journal, but after I was done my journal, I took off my makeup and then I got in my pajamas and I fell asleep. So now it's like nine o'clock. But before falling asleep, I did read 30 pages of Renegades. So I did make some progress. So in those 30 pages, not much happened. Basically, we just see Stingray... Frostbite and Gargoyle go to the Anarchist's headquarters and question them. And we find out that the Renegades aren't as like great as they seem. They're just as bad as the Anarchists because they get there and they start destroying all their stuff and then torturing them. It's like, you're supposed to be the superheroes. What are you doing? Anyways, the Sentinel like interrupted, stopped the whole thing. And then Nova decides that she's going to pretend to be a renegade at the very end of the chapter that I finished. So like, I was right about the plot, but then again, it's probably in the synopsis, but I didn't read the synopsis. So like, I predicted it in a way. I read 50 pages today, which isn't a lot. So I do want to get more done. And because I did have a nap, I feel like I will be able to stay up later than usual and read. So my goal is to read about 50 more pages. So to read 100 pages total today. So I'm going to go read and I'll update you guys when I get farther into it. So it's the next day and just like yesterday, I'm going to do my makeup while telling you guys about what I read. So I got to the part where Nova does her trial to become a renegade and that part went by so fast because I was enjoying it so much. That's why I ended up reading more than I actually said I was going to because I said I was going to read 50 pages and then go to bed. But that whole section went really by really fast so I ended up reading up to page 217 which was I think 80 pages total. In the trials, the other Renegades groups choose if you get accepted or not and the council too. So they can reject you or accept you. So the only ones that accepted Nova was Adrian's crew. So then she got challenged by Frostbite, which again, I hate Frostbite so much. So she was challenged by her, but she fought the gargoyle and like totally like outsmarted him and like made him fall outside of the circle. So that whole part I really enjoyed and it went by really fast, like I said. So where I ended off is where, so Nova's accepted. She obviously joins Adrian's team or crew. 
And now she just entered the headquarters and they're waiting for Adrian to like come. But Adrian just convinced his dad to let him have, like to be the lookout outside the library um, of somebody who's like a suspect of like providing a gun to Nightmare. So like Nova's gonna be there. So it's just funny that like, she's gonna be like joining a case to try to figure out who she is. But yeah, so it's really interesting. I'm really enjoying it so far, which I kind of expected to enjoy it because like, of course, like you guys really liked it. And then I see it like everywhere on booktube, people talking about it, especially Emma Books. She loves the book, those books. So like kind of knew I was going to love it. There's also hints that Oscar and Ruby are going to become a thing, which like I really, really want because like they're so cute together because Oscar had a scene where he's like asking everybody what they want from like the food stand. And he goes, you guys can have anything on the tray, just don't touch my smoothie. And she goes, Oscar, can I have a sip of your smoothie? He's like, fine. And then he gave in, and then like apparently, like you could, like the way it's described that scene, you could tell he has a crush on her. So I'm like, oh, I ship it. So my goal today is to read another 100 pages at least, which I think is doable because like I did it yesterday. So should be doable today. And hopefully I won't fall asleep today like I did yesterday. And I feel like I won't because I like, I took a nap yesterday and then I like slept in until like nine o'clock today. So I feel like I should be fine. So as for my TikTok, I feel like I'm gonna do a video today where I go through all of the books I've gotten signed. So either if I like met the author or I just bought the book signed. So I'm gonna go through those. I'll probably have to do two parts because I feel like I have a lot. I might be just exaggerating that. So probably gonna do that today. As for the rest of the video, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna kind of plan it as I go on. So I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and film my TikToks and then after I'm done doing that, I'm going to start reading and I'll update you guys when I get further. So I just got to the part where they talk about their origin stories and I just assumed that everybody was born with their superpower. I didn't know that like some of them had like traumatic events that like triggered their superpower or like created their superpower. So that was really interesting to find out. So we learned a lot about the characters in that chapter. So we found out the reason Oscar uses a cane is because he has a bone disease. And then we found out his like origin story of how he got his powers. So like he died in a fire, but really he didn't die. And then for Ruby, how she got her powers was this gang invaded her house and they were looking for jewels and she knew there were rubies hidden in the chimney. So she swallowed the rubies. One of the men saw her do it. And then he tried to get her to vomit them. And when she wouldn't, then he stabbed her. And that's when her blood started turning into rubies. Ruby's power is definitely my favorite so far just because it's the most unique out of everyone's. And another reason why I really love this chapter was Nova opened up to her crew a bit. So like when she was talking about her origin story, she talked about how like she stopped sleeping when she was six years old. And then she also said like her parents were murdered when she was six. So like they were able to like piece it together and be like, oh, like she stopped sleeping then. Like, and right now she's like pretending to be their friends, but I just want them to be friends already. Cause like my heart, I love them all. I'm on page 281, so I'm officially halfway through the book, so I'm gonna keep reading. So it's the next day, and I'm gonna bring you guys through my makeup routine while talking about the book, like I have been doing for the past few days. So I actually read more than I said I was going to read. I feel like I keep doing that. I keep setting myself goals and then like surpassing them, which is a good thing. So I read up to page 360, which was way over 100 pages. I, for I forget what page I was on, but I know for a fact it was over 100 pages. One thing I wanted to talk about was how Ingrid like didn't tell Nova she had a different plan and how she like basically like screwed over the librarian by like making the renegades go inside and then like attacking them so like it exposed him as being like one of their allies so like i really don't like her she's annoying too her and Frost frostbite are like my least favorite characters right now and when ingrid did attack the renegades nova took the renegade side which i was really happy about and like she told ingrid it was because uh she had more information she still needed to find out but we all know that's not true like she took the renegade side because she's starting to like see the renegades well not the renegades at her friend but like her crew as her friends so like i was really happy about that i was like cheering for her i was like go nova do what's right um oh and another reason why i love adrian which i didn't talk about before was how he is really aware of everything that's going on like even though he is a renegade he still questions the things that the renegades are doing wrong for example at the trials he was saying how the whole trial like situation is wrong because um they're supposed to inspire all people to be superheroes, not just like, pick and choose who gets to be. So I really liked how he was really aware of that. And like, just because he is a renegade, he just didn't assume that everything they're doing is good. Like he still sees that they have flaws in their system. So the Sentinel did show up again because everybody thought that Adrian went to go like save like the kid that was like missing in the building. But really he went to go put on his Sentinel costume. And then like he approached the librarian to like try to find out who Nightmare is or like just find out anything about Nightmare. And right before the librarian was going to like expose Nova, Ingrid shot him. So like 
Sentinel, or I was going to say Sentinel doesn't know, but uh, Adrian still doesn't know that Nova is Nightmare. I forgot her name. <laughs> I forgot her superhero name. Um, still doesn't know that she's Nightmare, but yeah, so he's dead. And then the niece ended up getting away because she can travel through mirrors. So like she jumped off a building into a mirror and now they don't know where she is. So I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. And I'm really enjoying the book. And also I was editing these clips together and I noticed that I say um, I'm excited a lot. So like, just don't mind that. I'm just excited to read this book clearly. But yeah, I, like I said it like five times. I'm like, oh my gosh, how many times am I gonna say I'm excited? So I feel like my goal today, just like every other day is gonna be to read 100 pages just because I feel like that's a good goal to have. It's not like too big of a page number and not too small. And it's really nice out. So I might read outside for a bit. And as you can see, my makeup's done. So I'm gonna go film my TikToks and then I'll start reading and I'll update you guys when I get more into it. So it's the same day. I just took off my makeup and changed my clothes. And I just got to a scene with Adrian, Nova, and Max, which was so pure. It was also really sad too, because we find out what happened to Max and how he ended up with the renegades. So basically his parents threw him off a bridge because he's, his power is dangerous for some reason. And Adrian's dad see it happen and they save him. So that was like really sad to find out. Um, but then it was pure because we found out that Adrian and Max are like basically brothers and I was like, oh, like Max deserves the world. Like we haven't got much of his character yet, but I already love him and I could tell he's going to be playing a bigger role in the series somehow. The Renegades are clearly trying to keep his power a secret, so that's why I feel like he has like a bigger role because he's clearly really vital to them, so I feel like he's going to be like the secret weapon. And I just finished the chapter where they interrogated the puppeteer, which I laughed so hard during this chapter because the puppeteer almost gave away Nova as Nightmare so many times. The first time he almost gave away Nightmare's identity is when they asked like, oh, like what's Nightmare's name, like true name? And he goes, no, Noreen, like he almost said Nova. It's like, oh my gosh, this man. So as you can see, I'm having a great time reading this book. So I'm going to continue reading. So I just finished another chapter and I finally found out what Max's power is. So at first I thought his power was that he could levitate and that like he was like telekinetic and I was like, oh, like, that's cool. I thought his power was gonna be more deadly. And then literally five pages later, like Nova goes to help him and like fates or like passes out or goes to sleep, whatever happened to her. And then we find out that like he can absorb people's powers. And the craziness of this chapter didn't even stop there because we found out he can absorb powers and then like he can levitate and like he's telekinetic, whatever. And who else is te was telekinetic? Ace. He took Ace's power. What? Pew. Mind blown. This book just keeps getting better and better, so I'm gonna go back to reading. So I just have a quick update. So like I said, I was gonna try to read 100 pages and I read over 100 pages like I have been. So now I only have 50 pages left. The one scene I got to that I wanna talk about is how Adrian went to like Nova's house to check on her. Like he's such a bean, I love him so much. So that whole scene was extremely adorable because also right before that she was talking to Ingrid and Ingrid was like, oh yeah, like, you know the way he looks at you because you're so observant. And then she, of course, like she's like in denial. It's like, what? No. Um, and then once Adrian left, so Honey um, came out of hiding and then she was like, too bad he's a renegade or you could have asked him to stay for dinner. I'm like, oh, I just, I just love this book so much. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was how Max got Ace's powers. So Max was actually there during the last battle and um, the captain used him to like take Ace's powers so they could destroy him. And that's another thing. I don't think Ace is dead. Like, because he jumps off the building into a, like a fire, but like, do they find a body? No body. He could still be alive. Like, I think he is alive. I feel like that's going to be like a plot twist maybe in the later books, or maybe I'm completely wrong. Like that's also very likely. Like I said, I only have 50 pages left, so I'm gonna film my TikToks and go read my last 50 pages, and it is Monday, so I have more schoolwork to do, so I'm gonna be doing that afterwards. I finished it. Like, five out of five stars. Like, were you expecting anything else? I wasn't, but five out of five stars. I loved it so much. This is definitely gonna be one of my favorites of the year. So there are a few things I wanna talk about that happened in the last 50 pages. One of those things being Nova asking Adrian if them going to the park together was a date, and Adrian's like, do you want it to be a date? And then like she just doesn't answer but then when adrian tries to kiss her she runs away i was like no my ship i want it to sail but i gotta say this book doesn't have much like romance in it like there's a hint of relationships being built but there's no romance in the book really like there's no kissing or anything but i gotta say i kind of liked it that way usually i like when fantasies have a romance at the center of its story but i feel like it really worked for this book and that i'm excited to see like the romance build in the next book because like it gave enough hints to say like okay these two characters like each other it just didn't give it to you right away you know so i'm excited <laughs> there i go again saying that i'm excited i am really excited for the next book just because i'm really excited to see the relationship build i'm excited to see where the plot goes 
and I'm really mad because like I said love this book five out of five stars but I don't own book two or three so now I'm like okay do I bite the bullet and just buy them or do I wait for them to go on book outlet and then read them can I wait that long probably not at the beginning of the video I said I was going to annotate renegades which I did end up doing so you can see my tabs here I'm so glad that I ended up annotating this book because there were so many great scenes that I know I'm going to want to go back to. I'm so glad that TikTok chose this book for me to read because I probably would have put it off for a while and now like I have a new favorite book of the year. So I'm so happy. I probably would have put it off just because it's over 500 pages and I tend to like put off books that are bigger just because I'm lazy and I'd rather just read a book that's like 300 or 400 pages that would go by like that. But I'm so happy that I finally read it. So thank you again for everyone who voted and now this book does have over 100 votes on that post. So thank you for everyone who voted and thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.